Every now and then one comes across a case that seems well restored radiographically and clinically, but in reality it fails sooner than expected. Though there can be many reasons for this complication, a common one often overlooked is the violation of the envelope of function. This is the border movement of the patient's lower jaw during various activities like chewing or bruxing. The literature is replete with articles as how to predict chewing patterns for patients. For example, patients with class 3 profiles are easy to treat as they have predictable chewing patterns with vertical movements. One can almost restore them without the fear that this envelope is being violated. In contrast, patients with class 2 profiles tend to have wider chewing patterns, making them harder to restore. A way to record these patterns is by using panographic tracing devices and with today's digital panographs, it is an easy process. However, from an everyday clinician's point of view, there are many ways to look at this. One way to identify your patient's envelope of function is taking a good look at their mounted study cast and observing what these patterns have done to their existing dentition. Another manner is by observing how your patients are doing in their provisional restorations. Telltale signs of violation of this envelope include excessive frematis on the temporaries, provisionals that break, or need repeated re-cementations, etc. Once success is achieved in the provisional restoration, this envelope can be duplicated in the final restoration by providing your lab with models of the provisionals and with a custom guide table.